Executor on the right. Beautiful. Kind of, I don't know what you call this. It's 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 not correctly. It's not fully tucked in. It's not fully tucked in. Correct. Yeah. Because because when they came into the pits, yeah, it was much easier for the mechanics to just dip their finger under the strap, pull it. It came off. They could open the hood and get on with what they needed uh, to do. That is a reserve oil tank. Yeah, right. That holds three gal a gallon and a half of oil. Yeah. And you can feed it into the car from inside the car. Yeah, right. And right. the pump, if you. Uh, electric fuel pumps back up. You pump this, and it pumps fuel up into the car. Okay. 1931 8C 2300 Alfa Romeo. Um, it's one of the very early chassis. It's got a thin gauge frame, um, which they think it was an early race car. Um, it's number serial number 11, I think. Um, and then it got bodied by Fagoni later, and it's uh, a couple years later, in like 33. And that body still exists. He still owns it, but it's been rebodied back to what they think right. was the race car originally. Okay, okay yeah. super. Thank All you. Right. you bet. Great.
Hello. You're welcome. for having you know the lunch was always fantastic here and your high school kids you know they're all smiling and the Colorado Grand do for you. By serving them lunch it lets us give three scholarships a year for three years. Oh okay. Have a thousand dollars a piece to local kids. Oh fantastic. Yeah and that and that is terrific. Okay. Preferably kids who are going to go into some form of either automotive mechanics, mechanical engineering, uh, diesel mechanics, um, but it's not strictly limited. The car club members, I think, are motorheads, gearheads, and love to see all this beautiful machine. Super. Grand for several reasons. First of all, when I was a young soldier many years ago, I won't tell you how many, I was stationed at Fort Carson, Colorado. I love with the Colorado Grand for many years since I saw him uh, getting his picture made in a 300 SL with that decal on it. I, and I was just very fortunate to get accepted uh, in, this year for my first time in the Colorado Grand. Okay. So I just love the best thing about the Colorado Grand is the people. Rocket 88 Oldsmobile, which is a uh, a little bit wallowy in the turns, but it's got that <laughs> great big V8 that uh, a Rocket 88. Very that, good. Uh, a very charming lady back to the hotel. Okay, <laughs> well, fantastic. Good. Morning. This is Ken Vance with the Galloping Goose Historical Society, and this is Joe Becker. He's the president of the Galloping Goose Historical Society for Goose Number Five. What we have is a 1940, what is it 46 uh, Wayne bus body. The engine's a 1947. It's a GMC. It's military surplus. It's 361, 361 GMC engine, coupled to a five-ton transmission, and that's. That's what drives the uh, AA Ford rear differential in the back. So you basically have a uh, hot rod uh, combination of parts, with uh, starting with the Pierce Arrow, grill shell, hood, and cowl, coupled to a Wayne bus body, coupled to frame rails, and a box car. Okay, so super. Hot rod on rails. Valari and uh, Johnny Luriani, all the great Italian drivers, 
wanted to look and drive these cars for the Americans just because they were considered the class of the field. So it's kind of like in today's time when people... Oh, you were driving. So this is a 1959 Peerless GT. They made okay. about 250 cars, and uh, we were lucky to find this one out in California. Okay, super. And uh, how far does the car go? As not fast to, not, as, not fast to as the driver wants to push it, I guess. It's <laughs> <laughs> on the hill. Okay. Excellent, very good. <laughs> We're trying.
been on a lot of more modern uh, car rallies over the years, and this takes the cake. It's just so much fun to be cruising with all these cars that you'll never see at concourse events. So. Jack Galvin over here, for, fortunate enough to uh, be his co-driver in the 300 SL, so we've just been having a blast. Well, how is the shifting on the on the speed six from three to two? Very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> we are having our challenges. Okay. It, but not every time. Not every time. Yeah, but it's been a wonderful ride in that There's car. Thanks to Joe Harding. Um, it's a fantastic car. Okay, so. Melby and my daughter is Sarah Melby and she received the Colorado Grand Scholarship last year in 2018. She's currently a student at UCCS in Colorado Springs and is studying psychology and she's doing absolutely amazing. She's on track to graduate in three years instead of four. She's been on the Dean's List ever since she started. She is studying, she actually, she's working at an autism center for children as an applied behavioral therapist and she wants to go to graduate school when she's completed her undergrad. And okay. thank you so, so very, very much for the amazing opportunity that she received by receiving the scholarship. Colorado Grand. This is my first time on the Colorado Grand, yeah. What do you think about it? I think it's fantastic. Scale, scale of the country, scenery, people, all fantastic. And the cars. It actually was uh, was cast, there's 10 of them being cast by a gentleman called Richard Matty had them done. Okay. Uh, last year he did them um, to give to people who he felt an affinity with who drove WOs. Right. So we call it a little devil. By the Colorado Grand, I understand that's the first time you came. Yes, it is, and I certainly hope it's not my last. I can't wait to do this again. This is so much fun.
we're not talking, to we're not for talking me. to each other. We're, 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 we're done, you know. It's just, we've got that point of tolerance. Here's Tom. <laughs> first uh, grand that's correct so what do you think about it I'm having an absolute blast you know I've talked to Kirk about it for a long time my fiance went on it last year she couldn't stop talking about it so when he asked if I wanted to go I couldn't say yes quick enough and the route's been amazing people even more amazing so super yeah met expectations and more okay yeah. well I'm glad uh, you had the opportunity Thank you. in this riding with the father-in-law and this lovely Porsche <laughs> Bentley four and a half liter. Right, number three. 